In high performance applications, the Intel RTS 2011 liquid cooling solution delivers superior thermal performance. This video will cover the installation procedure of the RTS 2011 liquid cooling solution for the LGA 1155 socket. The Intel RTS 2011 LC liquid cooling solution is made up of the following parts. The cooling assembly consisting of the pump, radiator, connecting hoses, and wiring. The fan assembly, a circular hold-down bracket with adjustable feet, two sets of large fasteners. For LGA 1155 installation, the longer set is used. A back plate with adjustable feet and two double-sided adhesive foam segments, thermal interface material, or TIM, and screws of various lengths for different installations. This installation should begin with the processor installed and the motherboard out of the chassis. To begin, place the back plate down with the threaded studs facing up. Take one of the double-sided adhesive foam segments and remove one side of the backing tape, exposing the adhesive. Place the foam segment, adhesive side down, in the rectangular area on the back plate. Repeat this process with the other foam segment on the other rectangular area of the back plate. Then slide the four threaded studs in towards the center. Carefully turn the motherboard over so the underside is facing up. On the back plate, remove the two remaining pieces of backing tape. Turn the back plate over and line up the four threaded studs with the holes in the motherboard surrounding the processor socket. Press the back plate onto the motherboard so the studs go through the motherboard holes and the adhesive foam segments hold the back plate firmly in place. This kit has the option of installing over an existing chassis fan, but for this video only the included fan will be used. Turn the motherboard over and carefully install it in the chassis with its respective screws. Apply the TIM to the top of the processor. On the liquid cooling assembly, position the included fan so the power cable is next to one of the hoses. Then, using the mid-length screws, install the fan assembly on the hose side of the radiator. Before installing the hold-down bracket, Make sure the outside markings on the feet show LGA 1155. If not, rotate the foot 180 degrees. With the feet in the correct orientation, insert the fasteners through the feet until they snap into place. Hold the bracket with the fasteners above the socket, roughly matching the four fasteners to the backplate studs. Line up the flanges on the pump to the openings on the hold-down bracket and lower the pump down through the bracket. Then rotate the pump so that the flanges are under the bracket fingers. With the pump and bracket lined up, lower the assembly onto the processor, lining up the fasteners to the backplate studs. With everything in position, tighten the fasteners in a cross pattern to lock the pump securely onto the processor. Position the radiator and fan assembly inside the chassis, where the chassis fan was originally located. Line up the screw holes on the chassis with the holes on the corners of the radiator, and insert the four shorter screws, with washers if needed, through the outside of the chassis into the radiator to mount it in position. With everything installed and clearances checked, connect the fan power cable to the corresponding connector coming from the pump. Then connect the power cable from the pump to the CPU fan power header on the motherboard to complete the installation. For more information, go to intel.com/support/processors.